Hello and welcome to another video on the S33 electrical channel. Uh, today we're looking at how to install switch cover plates or wall cover plates for electrical devices. Um, this will be really useful for people who are painters, uh, electricians that need a little bit of guidance and uh, it's really not intended for anyone that doesn't know what they're doing or doesn't feel inclined to, to mess with this kind of stuff so please if you do decide to do anything make sure that it's on your own accord and um, I can't, I'm not going to be responsible for any actions that you decide to take so uh, we're just doing this today I'm just going to share this with you guys uh, we have a two gain switch plate here I'm going to uh, I'm going to go, going to go ahead and tighten these down and put the cover on and show you how to do that first thing you want to do is just start with the one of the devices and you want to center up the the mounting screw you want it to be centered in the hole that it goes through to attach the device and um, you can actually use an impact it's a little bit quicker the um, the trick here is you, you want to get it good and snug on the wall but you don't want to over tighten it to where it's um, you're actually denting the drywall you, it, you'll you'll be able to feel it once you've done it so many times it's kind of like riding a bike you just kind of know but you don't want to over tighten but you want it to be good and snug and in the center of the um, device of the hole like you see how there's a gap there and there's a gap there you want to get that thing right in the center So that looks pretty good. It's real important that you get those um, the devices centered up. It'll make putting the plate on a lot easier. It's a, you'll have a lot better chance of getting a level plate on the first shot, assuming that your mounting box is square. Um, that's really the trick to putting the cover plate on with ease and not having any problems. So we got that, and you see how that cover just fit on there naturally and perfectly. If you're putting your cover on and it's like hitting a switch and you're having to like move it over, uh, that's because you didn't do a good job lining it up. So it's pretty easy. We're going to go ahead and uh, install our cover screws. I like to start with one, just get started, go to the opposite corner and do the same thing. You want to be careful anytime you're screwing anything in that you don't strip out the threads. And um, just like that, and get them started. On the last one, you can go ahead and, and tighten it up. It's kind of the same idea when you're tightening these screws. You want them to be good and snug, but not too tight to where you're denting the plate, uh, but just right. You just want it to be just right, and there it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these screws in a uh, vertical orientation and uh, to me it just that's just the way to do it it looks good um, I've had people ask me why why do you do it that way and the answer to my answer is just aesthetics it just looks better than having it horizontal or having them at an angle uh, it just really looks better uh, one guy said that it could be because if you do it vertically it won't uh, collect dust as much as it would if it were horizontal, and that's and that's 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 fair. But really, those are the only two explanations that I got for it. Just the aesthetics, and maybe it doesn't collect dust. Um, so you made it this far. They're all they're all good and tight, or just right, not too tight, but just right. And we're going to. Um, Next step, you want to take your level. Let's see where that is. It's a little bit off. This side needs to come up a little bit. So what you can do, you can take your trim screwdriver. You want to gently tap. You want to be real careful with the drywall and you definitely don't want to do anything more than a tap. So you still need to come up a little bit on that side. It actually, if you tap the top and the bottom, then you can do uh, side to side. So I'm going to go right here. And 
Can't really get my screwdriver over there. Let's see what that did. And it could be a little bit better, but it's in the lines, so that's good enough. Looking at my screw right here, I'll do one more turn. You can take your level if you gotta have a uh, padded in there, so I can try to adjust the switch if like it looks a little bit crooked. Um, but this isn't a brand new install, it's um, working behind someone else, so, uh, you know, that's as good as it's going to get until someone thinks they can do better, but that's it, that's how you install um, a wall cover plate for electrical, and uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, give me, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and uh, depending on the response, if I get a good response, we'll do more videos like it, so until the next one, y'all be cool, be safe, and peace.